I'm Coyote Peterson, and today I'm going to go toe to toe with the apex predator of the Florida Everglades, the American Alligator. Today we're near Homestead, Florida, on a private wildlife preserve in the Everglades. This environment is perfect for the American alligator to thrive in. My goal is to encounter one of these reptiles so I can show you some of its amazing features up close. I won't be using snares or ropes to capture it. I want the interaction to remain as stress-free on the animal as possible. Okay, you rolling? I'm rolling. All right, so we've been cruising on the airboat for several hours now. We've seen lots of alligators. We have not seen one that's been in shallow water. And right by that bush, I can see him from this height. It looks like a pretty good sized alligator. Uh, let me go first. You guys just kind of follow close with me. We don't know how this alligator is going to react. You have to remember, this is an aggressive reptile. This is a very dangerous situation, okay? I want you guys to be on point at all moments. You see, this is how we were able to track him. All of the sawgrass is kind of matted down. And at the end, we probably have about a 10 foot alligator. My heart is racing right now. Okay, Where's here we go, he's right here. And he's right. big. It is a big alligator. All right, Chance, come up slow. Uh, this is the apex predator that lives here in the Florida Everglades. Uh, this reptile's been on the planet for 150 million years. They have outlived the dinosaurs. So this is about as prehistoric as it gets for an animal encounter. Put an aggressive posture here. Starting to open up his mouth, he's saying, I'm the top predator around here, Coyote. You better have some respect for me. And trust me, you have to respect the American alligator. And that's the first defensive posture that these gators will use is to kind of flip the tail around. Now, all the muscle mass is in the tail, and that's what I really need to watch out for. You can take out my legs with a single swing. Now, the reason I want to catch this alligator is so I can get under control because it'll be safer for myself, safer for the crew, and safer for the alligator. Basically what I'm gonna do is lunge on top of his back and hold his neck in place. Now he's probably gonna squirm around a little bit. Uh, as long as I keep my hands away from those jaws, I should be okay. Are right, you guys ready? Yeah, ready. Wow! Okay, you hear that hiss? He's not exactly happy to have me on his back. Okay, go ahead, you guys can get in a little bit closer. I think I've got him. Pretty well positioned. Kind of got him in the saddle lock here. All right. Now that is the American alligator. And this is one of the reptiles that I want to show you out here in the Everglades because these guys are top dog. Now the alligator has a bite force of about 2,000 pounds per square inch. And that is the highest bite force on record in the animal kingdom. They have about 80 teeth in those jaws and their teeth constantly are breaking off, they're constantly losing them. You can see kind of in his front jaw there he's missing a few teeth, and those teeth will constantly rejuvenate themselves over the life of the animal. And just because he's calming down does not mean that I need to be any more comfortable sitting here. At any second he could erupt in action, throw me off, and probably give me a pretty good chomp. All right, what I'd like to do is kind of get his jaws under control here and show you a real interesting thing about their eyeballs. All right, so what I'm gonna do Close his eyes down. All right, now this doesn't hurt the alligator in any way, but you see I've got my finger over his eyeball, right here, my pinky finger, you see that? Okay, so what's really interesting and unique about all crocodilians is that they have what's called a nictitating membrane. And when I let that go, you're gonna see the nictitating membrane, which is actually a third eyelid, kind of fold back. And they use this membrane to protect their eyes when they're swimming underwater in all this murky sawgrass and Everglades nastiness. Ready? One, two, three. Now, these reptiles are built like tanks. Yeah, he said, all right, I've had enough of the underwater business. Now, anytime you come near an American alligator, you don't want to do what you just saw me do. Bad idea. I know exactly what I'm doing, but if you come out here, Everglades, your backyard, and you encounter an alligator, give it respect. Back away slowly. They want nothing to do with you. They're actually more afraid of you than you should be of them. Give them their space and you'll be just fine. What a wild encounter with the apex predator of the Everglades, the American alligator. I'm sure you guys have some questions, maybe even some gator encounter stories of your own. Leave them in the comments section below and we'll talk to the American alligator. I'm Coyote Peterson. 
Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. See you later, buddy. Wow. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. <laughs>